six of the world's most unsafe beaches. Skeleton Coast, Namibia Although frightening, this is a very appropriate name for this beach. The extremely lethal Bengala current causes regular shipwrecks and the surrounding waters are home to over 11 species of sharks. And there are several predators which include hyenas and even lions that patrol the beach. Portuguese navigators used to call this coast the gates of hell. Cape Tribulation, Australia You will find no shortage of misery at this beach even with that name. This beach is located along the coast of Queensland. It has very alluring sandy stretch and palm-fringed aquamarine waters. But, at the same time, there are dozens of booby traps that await you in these waters. If you want to swim here, it is recommended that you wear a stinger suit. As the water there is laced with stinging jellyfishes. That is your first red flag to stay away from the beach but, if that is not enough, we have more. As the best stinger suit in the world won't prepare you for the salt water crocodiles that are abound. There are no suits that are made commercially at least, that would keep you safe from crocodiles. To top that, the cape is also home to cassowaries which are flightless birds that are the size of ostriches. They have talons that are sharp enough to rip you from head to toe. And the final red flag is the infamous stinging trees that have jagged leaves that will pick up whatever the birds left off. New Smyrna Beach, Florida Surfers flocking to the Atlantic coast of Florida know the risks that come with this beach. The beach is very unsafe as it has shark infested waters. As Florida has an average of 29 shark bites annually. And in the year 2017, around 9 of these attacks occurred around a section of this coast. Shark attacks have been less frequent of late, but New Smyrna Beach still remains one of the scariest beaches in the world. If you're really looking for a shark fix, stick to the Jaws ride at Universal Studios. Hanakape Beach, Hawaii This beach has golden sands, endless blue sea and black cliffs. But do not succumb to the temptations of this paradise just yet. The alluring waters are home to very incredible and strong riprides that have taken uninformed swimmers to their end. The cause of it is the lack of coral reef protecting the area. Because of the perils that surround this beach there is no main access that is to this road. It requires thrill-seeking humans to navigate boulders that are formidable and switchbacks over streams and waterfalls. The beach that is located on the other side of the stream, a river is much better suited to swim in than the ocean. Fraser Island, Australia The beaches of this island pose an equal risk if it is underwater or on land. Recently, the island has become inundated with Irukandji. They are the most venomous jellyfish in the world. Abdominal pain, vomiting, sweating, anxiety, hypertension, pulmonary edema and, in extreme cases, fatal cardiac arrest is just one of the few side effects of a sting by these jellyfish. Several Irukandji attacks have been reported on the island over the past few years. The island is also home to over 25 to 30 packs of dingoes. Dingoes are a type of a dog which is native to Australia that is known to attack humans. Utarklive Beach, Norway The country's Lofoten Islands are without a doubt breathtaking. But they are also some of the best spots where one can view the northern lights from. Even though the beaches and shores look inviting, it is considered best to remain on a chilly and dry land. Lying north of the Arctic Circle, the islands are surrounded by waters which are between 46 and 57 degrees Fahrenheit during the summers. To put that into an understandable perspective, National Center for Cold Water Safety says that water below 60 degrees Fahrenheit is life-threatening. 
and while the coastline may seem very inviting and seductive due to the northern sky, it would be better if you just skip out on taking this beach water plunge.